right, music lovers, it's uh, MiddleTennesseeMusic.com. It's your boy Jedi Smo, and today we're going to show you how easy and simple it is to set up your own self-hosted WordPress website. Uh, we will be using Bluehost, but the process is very similar across other platforms, um, other hosting providers. So uh, it's a pretty much a one-click install using simple scripts, and we're just going to demonstrate that for you. Uh, yes, there are other options such as Banzoogle, and Reverb Nation has its own site builder, which is based on Banzoogle's platform, and Almost every web hosting provider has its own drag and drop, easy to use builder, but it none of them. I've used several of them, and none of them give me the freedom and control that I like when I'm building a website with WordPress. And let's show you how easy it is. All right, I'm going to go to Bluehost. That's who we use to host most of our websites. Highly recommend if you are looking for a hosting provider. Alright, let me uh, click log in. I'll wait for a second. Now Bluehost uses cPanel, so this is this is the cPanel screen and this is how you navigate around the back end of your website and all the hosting materials, your email. I'm going to scroll down and start a new WordPress install. I'll name it uh, Test Band Site. And see all the different domains we already run. We're going to set up a new install of WordPress in a new domain in a new directory. Now, if you had your own domain name, it would be www.yourbandname.com, and we would install it in the root so that that's what loads and there are other things you could do with landing pages and such but that's for another video another blog post all right now I'm assigning a login so that I can log into WordPress and manipulate the site all right here we go we're installing it's gonna take seriously hardly any time at all And bam, we're done. I'm going to click the link to go log into the website. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm logging in. And we're going to go see the WordPress dashboard. Now this is how you do everything. This is how you create new blog posts, new pages. This is how you change the way the themes look. This is how you add plugins, create your sidebars. This is what it looks like. This is the, the default theme. I'm going to go install a new one and show you. Oh, first, though, let me get rid of that tagline, just another WordPress site. We don't want that up there. I'll just make something up. Let's see. Experimental jazz. That's how I'm feeling right now. And when I click save, it'll update the tagline on the website under the main header. I'll show you. Hit refresh. You can see the tagline under the big header changed. Now I'm going to go in and install a new theme just to show you how easy it is to customize the look and feel. And these are the default themes that WordPress gives you. But I'm going to go find something a little cooler than this. So we'll go to the free themes directory. Now there are also premium things that you can buy and uh, I highly recommend the Genesis framework. Here we go. This is a good one. I'll choose this one. I'm going to click install. It's seriously this easy. Click a button, wait. And it's installed my theme. I'm now going to activate it. Click and wait. And I'll go refresh the site. And bingo change the theme just like that so as you can see it's really easy it's quick oh, here's a look at the back end this is the CSS style sheet if, if you're a geek this is the this is how you would man manipulate the layout the fonts the colors the way things look paragraphs headers block quotes but yeah it's that easy till next time